Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Parks and Recreation Season 6, Episode number 13. You better believe it. Also, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. It helps the algorithm. Simple as that. Couple comments from episode 12, starting with executive producer Faith, who says, Great reaction. Andy's storyline was my favorite, although I love Ron and his magical rectangle. I love how supportive April is of him in the line, You just had a lot of fun and made $150. Who cares what you're supposed to do? Yeah. Really struck me as super cute. I also like how she told the woman to ask for April karate. Andy's a fun loving big kid at heart, and so having fun with kids would be a great fit for him. Yeah, sure would. I never even would have thought of that. Also, after thinking about the question, who is TV's greatest couple of all time, which is such a loaded question, I would have to say April and Andy, even though I've participated in heavily shipping other non-PNR couples. Yeah. Thank you for the reaction. Looking forward to more. Our executive producer JoJo says, I think of this one, uh, I think this is one of Rashida Jones' best episodes, and the lesson Chris Lawrence is so very true. That sucks. That's all you need to hear sometimes. Mm -hmm. I love that too. That was one yeah. of my favorite takeaways of the episode as well. Yeah. In response to Faye's thoughts on coupledoms, I will stir the pot by declaring that technically the only correct answers to the greatest TV couples are Sam and Diane, cheers, or Mulder and Scully, X-Files. The term shipper originated in X-Files message boards in the 90s. Cases might be made for Ross and Rachel or Pam and Jim, but cheers came first, so I'm giving them the win for oh, man. Sick Cubs. Yeah, that's a good little question to <clears throat> those people. Everybody will have their own answers. You would have to probably classify it by, like, yeah, decade. Something. Yeah, <laughs> So other people could have a chance. Yep. That being said, I totally adore every couple and pairing on Parks. Andy and April, Ben and Leslie, Chris and Ann, Chris and Ben. <laughs> yeah. Leslie and Ann, Leslie and Ron, etc. Big facts. All right, guys, let's jump into episode two. Look at how he's being all happy. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Anything with Julie Andrews in it? Around behind my back. I told you I didn't like that. Forget it. Come on, Harold, look. This is a great opportunity you have right now. Just think of us as your genies who can give you anything you want. Nothing gross. Okay, yeah, there is something I want. Super fizzy fruity pop. Sorry? Sweetums used to stock our office with free sodas as a promotional thing, but that Catherine Pinewood lady just took them away. If you can get us our free sodas back, I'll get you a key. Deal. Easy. It's like not easy. Oh, Catherine Pine would be the person on earth who hates me the most. Right. Or with the person on earth who loves you the most. Too cheesy. No, it's perfect. I love you. Don't leave. Come on. Don't leave. <laughs> Donna, you are a remarkable woman, and I just wanted to say that I've always thought of you as family. I just want to say that I've always thought you were hot. Yes, I know. April? Yes, I know. Yeah, you <laughs> saw a lot of potential in me. I'm like a daughter to you, and it was a treat to watch me blossom. Blah, blah, blah. Bye. That is true. Remarkably close to what I was going to say. Also, and I'm proud of you. Donna, are you grabbing my butt? Can you blame me? Go! Can you blame me? No. <laughs> Sorry, can't help you, ladies. I don't have time for disgraced former politicians, and I'm Mary Pregos. No, okay. I'm Mary Pregos. Always a delight. Listen, I know that you and Leslie have had your disagreements in the past, but we really need the key, and we can only get the key if we get the sodas, please. I don't see why I should do you any favors. I mean, if you were still a city councilor, maybe, but I seem to remember you were recalled. Is that right? Is that dare right? You? Okay, Leslie, please. It's not worth it. For you. For me, I don't care. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah I'm with you. That's right. I'm pregnant and I have you in a headlock. And if you drop right back, I will sue you. Unless you tell us how to get those sodas right now. Okay, fine. Sweetums has been desperately trying to get a local celebrity spokesman to endorse their new sports streak, so if you can make that happen somehow, I'll give you whatever you want. <sighs> Damn, Perkins. Damn, okay. Perkins. Who does Sweetums want as their spokesperson? We already tried to get me into this guy <laughs> again. Basketball. I'm dunking on the label. When is this town going to realize that I'm more than a former high school basketball star? I, I don't think this new sports drink is even about basketball. It's you called Sweetums Dunktastic 3-point B-Ball Blast. I it's had to do with that. Minks. Yeah. I went on a date with Perg. What? It was during that Explore My Freedom as a single woman phase. Wow. We just had a drink. And at the end he said, I am going to kiss you now by putting my mouth on your mouth. And then I ran away. It was absolutely I really my away. call. Well, we could just tell him the truth that we feel bad that we didn't get him anything nice. <laughs> tell the truth, that's hilarious. No, we tell him we had the perfect gift. 
going to rob the gun club. <laughs> Chris, he had a gun. He took all the gifts. Now Chris feels bad. He's buying us gifts. Next thing you know, Tommy's got a new watch. Again, I don't see the problem. I shook the man's hand. Twice. Twice? Guys, hey, look what you got at the president's day booth. Ask Matt what your country can do for you. <laughs> From Family Guy, right? Listen, Chris, <laughs> we have to tell you something. We feel bad because you got us such thoughtful gifts, and we got you three pans and a bag of nothing. Guys, I'm really happy that you and Andy are married. Why? Why? Because I love him and I love you. Why wouldn't I be happy? I couldn't I couldn't quite hear you. Please don't make him say it. Please. My going away present to you will be that I do not make you audibly say that you love me. Thank you. Aww. GG. Gary. That's Gary, Jerry, Larry, Gergich, Gingrich. <laughs> I've in all my names. I really, I didn't know what to do. I didn't really I know, know what to do. Y'all call me so much. <laughs> Thank you. No. And dedicated to goodbye. It was just all goodbye. It was very heartfelt at the end. I mean, it, it, it was it was really good, and, and it stuck to what they do best, you know, um, just just the same thing that they always do. And I thought that was just a, a, a fantastic send-off by everybody for Ann and Chris. And, I, you know, you couldn't have it any better than that, even with April over there getting a little bit emotional and everything. So I just thought it was a wonderful episode, man, uh, and a really good send-off to our two our two characters, and I hope they do good in Michigan or where they go. And then now we move on from there and see how the how the the, the game goes with without those two. But uh, I thought it was a great episode, man. Very very good sitting off. Uh, yeah, I absolutely loved it from start to finish. It couldn't have been better, in my opinion. Um, ugh, I'm gonna cry. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna keep it really short because I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, that was really um, good. But the uh, Leslie. Uh, sent Anne off in the only way Leslie can in complete style as far as I love it was so adorable let's have all the holidays here that we might potentially not be able to celebrate together is so her yeah, um, I think, I think Chris right. coming through and having individual gifts for everybody was super sweet as well I love that so much I love that they did that because we had that episode too as about everyone having their own bachelor party night the guys did so I'm glad they did separate it again so we had the guys side and then Leslie and Anne too I thought that was super sweet um but like Leslie and Anne's friendship is just like so tangible it feels so real like the emotions they emote I'm like they are best friends for sure I yeah. just thought it was so heartfelt so so great I love the guys coming through with the friendship box for Chris at the end too. I was yeah, just like, that, that was, was nice. I was hoping something would come out and they, they delivered beyond what I expected, but it was really great too. They crammed so many callbacks this episode too, just talking about memories and passing that all like really brought memories up for us too, which made the, uh, the episode even that much more emotional. So mm -hmm. beautiful send off. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean it was just it was just a really good good episode man really good send up too so all right well look thank you guys again for watching another real talk reaction for parks and rec season six episode 13 and until next time people peace